Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott and we're out here at the rest stop. I'm trying to find a good uh, view for you guys. Uh, this happens to be the same rest stop that we stopped by on the other side going to Las Vegas and now we stop by uh, here uh, on the way home. <laughs> so thank you. I just wanted to say thank you for your prayers and uh, just give you a quick praise report. We did make it uh, into the country fine. Hey Jeff, hey Rick. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that we made it in. Uh, we're on the way. We left Las Vegas this morning. We're coming up on Barstow. We'll be uh, back to Orange County about an hour and a half. But I just wanted to share a short testimony. We stopped by this rest area right here. And then uh, we have this uh, Trust Jesus shirt on. And then, you know, we, when we stop anywhere, we always grab something from, from the car. We have tracks. We have magnets. We always have something to give to people. And uh, as I was walking uh, into the rest area, a lady says, oh, I love your shirt. Oh, praise God. And just uh, bless you. And then we were coming back. And another lady had stopped me. And her husband had stopped me and my wife. And they said, I just love your shirt. And I says, ma'am, hold on one second. You acknowledge Jesus. And he acknowledges you, and I'd like to give you a gift. So I went into the car and grabbed one of these magnets uh, that we have here, a smaller version of this. And that was the one that I felt led to give. And it so happens that their son had just come back uh, from Afghanistan or from the service, and he's struggling with a little uh, PS and and uh, they were so blessed that we, we had that magnet to give to them. Uh, to support our veterans and our troops and it was just such a blessing we got to fellowship we got to talk about the ministry and what we're doing they were so thankful we were so thankful um, in support of President Trump and uh, that we need to pray for him to come against all the attacks of the devil and we all agreed that uh, that as far as when it comes to Trump that the fact that everybody and the media, the lying media, gets so upset is just proof that he's doing a good job because <laughs> it was way too quiet for those past eight years. So it was such a blessing. And then we're getting ready to get in the car, and uh, the gentleman's wife walks up and gives us a love offering uh, for our travels home. So what a blessing. Uh, just a pit stop to go to the restroom, and uh, things are happening because we are open about our faith in Jesus Christ. Some people might tell me and have told me in the past that they won't wear a cross or anything Christian because they want people to know that they're Christian by their actions. Well, how are they going to know if you don't show them? I mean, I understand the sentiment, but these things that we wear start, spark up conversations and it happens all over the country and all over the world. And it is a top opportunity to stop, have a gospel conversation and then you'll be amazed at how many people will come up and join you or the opportunities that are uh, made by being loud and stoked for Jesus. So we love you guys. Keep us in prayer. If you need anything at all, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS. We'll be home in about an hour and a half. We've got some chores to do and then some things to do. And then another uh, 10 days or so, we'll be back out on the road for a month in Indonesia for that crusade. Keep that in prayer. 200 blind people are being uh, invited to the university up there in Solitiga and 100 chaperones. And we're going to go up there and see what the Lord wants to do. All righty. God bless you guys. Back on the road. We love you. Take care.